Hello, it's uh, Andy. I'm just going to have a very quick little chat about the cost of living and how things are spiralling. Uh, things are getting dearer. We know uh, this coming April we're all expecting, shall we say, interest rates and shall we say the cost of living to go even further skyward. Obviously that's nothing new to people from the previous uh, eras. Um, interest rates have gone up and gone down and they've been historically quite horrendous as well during some of those periods. Indeed, uh, when I was a young man with a mortgage, I think interest rates were in excess of 10% anyway. Uh, could have been more. Um, I can't remember the ins and outs. I try to forget if I can. But um, yeah, those were dear times. And obviously with the recessions we had, people have felt the pinch. But the, the key thing is for, should we say, an individual or a family is how you do manage that situation and how you get yourself through the other end of that recession or hard time should I say. There's various uh, methods or approaches you can take and I'm not a financial expert. All I'm going to talk about here is um, one very small um, method that I've used throughout my, shall we say, uh, life with my own properties, uh, my marriage, uh, kids, and indeed basically just uh, general day-to-day -day living. I've always been a low earner, so I'm always speaking from that uh, perspective. Um, I've worked since I was 14, um, uh, part-time, and then obviously 16 I went into full-time. But I've always been a low earner, like I said. So I've kind of uh, got that mend, make, do philosophy, uh, which was instilled into me by my grandparents and my parents. But there's something else as well. And one um, item of... Uh, should we say frugal living that um, is still there you can use today and it's an underused resource particularly by people on a lower income and basically I'm just going to try and give you a little bit of awareness to that and basically show you and tell you how I've utilized it and um, I probably will always utilize it and on top of that it's part of what I would call the new culture of upcycle and recycle if you really want to get, um, shall we say, green and shall we say use buzzwords. But um, yeah, I'll just give you a little explanation of what I'm talking about now. So what I'm about to say is nothing revolutionary. It's just the fact that... Uh, a lot of people will overlook this particular method to help them get by. Now, when I say get by, it's not going to provide you with that instant what you're looking for or what you need. But if you use a span of time and you're diligent and you have a wide net which you can cast, you can quite often help yourself out in a lot of your situations. Now, what I'm talking about is the free sites you can find on the internet. Those free sites will be regional, local, to your town, or even to your, shall we say, uh, village, or, or what have you. But there's a plethora of them, and you can utilise those to find items that you require, or items that you may need in the up-and-coming future. So... I'll just give you uh, an instance. A TV broke in my kids' room, or it didn't work, over a period of time of looking. Within sort of two months, somebody had one that they were advertising as they were giving it away, they no longer required. I was able then to contact them, and um, they very graciously um, let us have it when we picked it up, and it cost us nothing other than a bit of goodwill and, and a, a thank you at the end of it. So I didn't actually have to purchase a TV for a kid's room. That doesn't sound very big when you look at it like that. But I've been doing these sort of things my whole life. And while that might not appeal to some people, I've been able to, shall we say, make my income go from this 
to this in effect because I've been able to achieve what I want to achieve materialistically and then put my money to other things I don't know like some treats for the kids or um, shall we say um, a, a holiday or, or shall we say get the car repaired so my money stretches further because I, I, I haven't had to buy a TV I've done that with fridges, uh, microwaves, anything you could think of in the electrical appliance world. Um, I've been able to source that. I have um, bought new from time to time, but if the situation dictated that I was, should we say, rather uh, strapped one uh, month or something, I would utilize that method and you can more than likely find what you're looking for. It's not just electrical items and I'll just give you an example if you're a single young mum and you know money is really tight and you've got a place that you've just moved into you could for instance find a sofa people are always um, giving sofas away and you can more than likely find on those various sites somebody that would be willing to get that to your location for a small cost. It may not be cream leather that you'd really like that you've seen online in the magazines. It may be like a brown uh, cloth uh, covered uh, sofa. As long as it's clean and serviceable, get it into your property, get a cheap cream throw, throw it over. Bob's your uncle, you've got somewhere to sit. You haven't splashed out thousands that you don't have to get that sofa and you can allocate that money to something else. Now you can probably begin to see what, how I'm thinking here but it also has to work in reverse and myself just recently I've tiled a kitchen and a bathroom and I've had a lot of leftover tiles through my miscalculation. I then put uh, my leftover packs of tiles on the selling sites and uh, like I said, uh, a gentleman turned up and there was just enough to do what he wanted to do and he was really chuffed because uh, the price of tiles was not exactly cheap and by all accounts he was having a little bit of a uh, um, tough financial um, period so this obviously helped him out. So I'd always encourage you if you're going to use these sites to actually when you've got something to pass on that you do the same because um, it's kind of like one big roundabout and it's always good to pass on something that you can offer out as well. For example, this roof rack system here for my car, all that was wrong with it is one end cap missing. I quickly made something out of a rubber uh, bike's handlebar end cap. And Bob's your uncle, it's all good. It came with everything you need and that's going to uh, serve me well. In fact, it got me a load of building materials to my property. And like I said, something like that is around about 70 or 80 pound new. All these plant pots were free and my kids are using those to sell plants for a bit of pocket money. So yeah, all those plant pots were free. This uh, top box I picked up possibly about three months after I got the roof rack system and it actually does fit on and we used it uh, this year to go on holiday and that cost us nothing other than a thank you and somebody just wanted it out of their shed. Uh, so that was gratefully received. Right, this is a bit of a, an item which most people might uh, consider uh, something that they wouldn't want. But for me, we're going to use this and I'm going to adapt this to make a paddle board and a kind of uh, kids mess about on a calm day at a secluded bay that we go to. Um, I couldn't afford a paddle board. I don't want a paddle board because I'm a surfer. But um, this was free. It's obviously a windsurfing board and I can adapt this and make this into what I need for what I need. Uh, yet again, the make, do and mend. I've got various items I've still got to take off and sort out. But it did come with a fin in the fin box. I was able to take that out and manufacture a fin for my longboard which I purchased and it didn't come with a fin so I was then able to make a fin. 
this is my new longboard. It didn't come with a fin system. Uh, you generally purchase a fin, which can be anywhere from 50 up to 150 pound, depending on what you buy. This one was uh, slightly big on a few uh, internal parts. A little bit of work with a grinder and sorted it all out. It's now in there. I now have a fin for nothing. And I also have that big windsurfing board, which I'm going to make a paddle board come kind of like sit down canoe paddle um, system for us to play around uh, at a secluded bay. Yesterday we picked up some paddles. They're not the world's uh, best ones but we have an inflatable dinghy and we broke a paddle. I've now replaced the, the, uh, the broken one with two and this will serve us uh, very well to play around on the aforementioned uh, windsurf board which I'm going to manufacture a uh, flotation should we say stand up board uh, come canoe and it will also come you know in handy for our inflatable um, dinghy and at the same time not from the same place we picked up some more kids wetsuits which will come in handy for our kids in the summer um, no need to purchase uh, wetsuits that will give them uh, an option to stay warm and it hasn't cost me anything and yet I'm providing the kids with some summer fun some flippers they you know might not be expensive to buy but yet again I don't have to buy them they're there as I alluded in another video all the push bikes and scooters these were all freebies going to the dump or being thrown away except that one there the rest of them were all hand-me-downs or being picked up from sites so and we've just serviced them and got them back on the road this surfboard um, which is basically my eldest son's surfboard now at the right size that was another free one that was just being thrown away at the time um, I've picked it up and um, uh, and that, that was a long time ago for my eldest son and uh, that one has done all my kids and gone through them and um, I didn't have to buy a surfboard I've had a surfboard all I've done is just keep repairing it where the kids you know kids being kids they run it up over the boulders and rocks I just repair it and off it goes again. There you have a, shall we say, just a cheap camp bed, but it was free. It's not been used. We've now got it and we actually use it and put it up if people stay. Like I said, it cost me nothing. I didn't have to find any money for it. These sun loungers, brand new. We've got the uh, covers down in the uh, woodshed, which I'm actually getting ready and cleaned up for the better weather. Two of them, sun loungers. Nothing wrong with them, brand new, never used. Um, we used them last summer and they were fantastic. But yet again, free, just a thank you. This looks a bit manky, but it is basically our workshop fridge where everything that doesn't go inside the house, the good fridge, comes out here and lives. But yet again, this was another uh, freebie somebody was getting rid of. The fridge works. It looks tatty and messy, but it does out in this uh, environment here for us. And it still uh, is a work in good working order. So we can put stuff uh, which we couldn't get in the house freezer out here. This table and chair is in absolutely gleaming nick uh, and it was used all summer and um, yet again this was another one just actually passed over to us. Um, yet again like I said here's the covers cleaning them off and drying them out here for those sun loungers. That, um, this table it looks dirty because it's, it's been in the woodshed but it'll clean up for summer we used this in the summer this was yet again picked up off the sites fantastic use in the garden come with um, four chairs two are in the kids wendy house but the other two are here and that just basically shows that you know i didn't need to buy no garden furniture i was able to source it that somebody else was just uh, getting rid of and didn't want and it's all in good working order this I kept one pack of tiles back just in case you ever get like a break or something you've got to uh, repair or get to a pipe. But uh, this is the pack of tiles like I said. I had many many packs and should we say half cut ones which I let the gentleman have. And um, like I said it's around about what you take or receive. Try to put something back into the system. 
that was only just a brief uh, quick show what I've picked up recently. Um, I do have furniture, electrical items in the house and um, a, a, a multitude of other things we've picked up. Indeed, uh, uh, my wife has just picked up some World War II uh, memorabilia in the form of um, papers from that particular era. And, um, you know, and I'm going to be fascinated to read through that. Um, obviously, that's of no uh, value to anybody in their day to day substance and life. But um, what that's the point of what I'm trying to get through is that if you're prepared to invest the time to look at that instead of reading your, shall we say, social media accounts, you may be able to, shall we say, as I've explained, increase your um, living expenses just that little bit further by not having to buy a child's um, school uniform. You quite often see their jumpers or what have you on those sites and indeed when your kids grow out of it you put them on yourself. Um, you can get beds, um, toys, um, all manner of things like I keep saying. You just have to invest the time to look for it and um, you you can reap the rewards by, um, like I said, um, with just a thank you and being courteous to pick up and make yourself available to pick it up when they want you to pick it up or negotiate it so you're both happy. You can come away with something that is of uh, real value and use to yourself. When you're using these sites, you must always take into consideration, particularly if um, you're um, a lady obviously your safety in actually having somebody come to pick up an item that you may be advertising and obviously um, if you're going somewhere so always bear in mind your safety and when you're picking up uh, items always try to have a look around and indeed try to make sure it's in a safe usable condition for yourself and indeed if you're providing that item you should always or you must always uh, make sure that it's of a safe usable condition for the person that you will be receiving that's just given and um, yeah always be courteous if you say you're going to be there be there or at least contact them to say you can't be there and indeed if you're providing the item uh, try not to um, promise somebody something and then um, pass it over to somebody else and so when somebody's made a journey to your uh, pickup location that it's no longer available the thing is um, on these sites you do get a community that will build up and within that community if you should we say spoil your um, should we say reputation or, or word of mouth um, the next time you come to ask somebody if you can have something they might remember that you didn't turn up or you were ungracious or you know you said something negative you know it, you just it all revolves around a little bit of respect honesty and indeed courtesy Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. And like I said, it was nothing revolutionary. I'm just trying to purvey that you can optimise um, some part of uh, your, shall we say, uh, living expenses by reducing having to pay out for other things if you're willing to invest the time to look on those free sites in your local area, community, village, town, what have you. Um, just invest a little bit of time and it can save you money. Even if, like you say, you're, you're getting, <laughs> I'll just use this as an example, garden furniture during the winter nobody wants and you're not going to use it to the summer you haven't had to buy it in the summer but you know you would have potentially bought it anyway so you've made a saving there and like I just showed you with my car I had a roof rack system I was looking to buy anyway but held off and held off but one popped up on the on the site and it was only a few miles away from my address which we were able to pick up I put on and lo and behold a <laughs> roof uh, box system came up a uh, short while after so you know I couldn't have been more happier but it took time uh, waiting it wasn't an instantaneous um, um, 
process to get it it took time but like i said if you're very very short on money you can uh, find furniture and everything as i've described uh, and you can should we say make life a little bit easier for yourself so i'm going to wrap this up i hope that i've not informed people but just reminded them that there is perhaps this option if things are getting a little bit tight and things are getting a bit strapped and like all of us now we're facing down the barrel of should we say some more financial hardship coming our way just uh, think about these as options and uh, it might just help you get through this rough time